think you look great in that red one over there. I kind of like the navy blue one. Well, we'll get you both. Oh, that sounds good to me. Hi, I'm Candace Hasey. And I'm Rob Weller, and tonight we're at the granddaddy of all car shows. This is the Chicago Auto Show at McCormick Place. This is where all the auto industry giants unveil the brand new product lines. You know, Rob, there's really only one thing that surpasses America's fascination with the car. Uh -huh. And that's America's fascination with the car of the future. Our principle, as you will see, is a flat plate or disc type propeller moving the air fast enough to produce a lift. The Chicago Auto Show is the largest American gathering of the automobile industry. It's here that the giants of the car clan unveil their latest models. But amongst these Goliaths, we found a David. He was tucked away in the back of McCormick Place in an unassuming exhibit, and his name was Jim Beatty. I think this vehicle right here represents uh, the type of vehicle that is going to come along in the future. Uh, in really almost all of our ground transportation. Well, the reason someone should really buy this car is because it's going to give them a tremendous savings in gas mileage and therefore money. It will give them a safer type of vehicle. It will give them a high performance sports car type of vehicle. All very, very economical. The most important thing here, however, is that we get 100 miles per gallon with this efficient vehicle. We can go well over 100 miles an hour if we wanted to. We're going to supply a little container about that big that will hold three ounces of of gasoline in it, and that'll be enough to keep in the glove compartment. If you ever do run out of glass, gas, you pour that in, you go six miles with it. We use aerospace type materials on it. We use a urethane material called rim. It's real high impact. The nose can be very soft. We have essentially a bumper that could collapse 20 inches. So when this thing hits anything or something hits it, it slowly compresses and does not cause a major, major crash what's inside the, the unit here where the cabin is. Now this won't solve everybody's problem. It's two seats. It doesn't replace the pickup truck. It doesn't replace the van. But it does give a type of transportation now that is totally unavailable any other way. red-blooded American will tell you, when you're in the market for a car, it's not enough to merely hear the sales pitch or be taken for a drive. You have to get behind the wheel yourself, even if it is the car of tomorrow. Turn the key to, Wait, that, to that position and hit the red button. Yeah. Uh, you push the clutch pedal in, uh -huh. pull the shifter back one notch. All right. And just uh, from then on, it's like an automobile. I'm all set, huh? Shall I uh, close up? Oh, boy. Here I go. <laughs> It felt like being in an airplane cockpit. And after a while, when I got used to the idea that it wasn't going to take off, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. It has a tight turning radius. I didn't feel as if it was going to tip over turning around. It was a quick pickup. It had lots of room inside, even for a pregnant woman like me. And uh, all around, a lot of fun. Not, not, too, fun. not too low to the ground, either. You said uh, probably pretty good gas mileage, I would think. Huh? Yes, it gets uh, 100 miles a gallon if you're going 55 miles an hour and 75 miles a gallon if you care to go 100 miles an hour. Motorcycle engine. Yes. Oh, you gotta love it. 
wasn't this designed, I think, where? Somewhere in the Chicago area? Yes, it was out in Mundelein is where it was designed. So it's a, a good local product. Hey, you had a lot of guts getting in there and driving that. Well, I was the first woman to ever uh, drive that automobile. Well, marvelous. It's like Amelia Hasey. How about that? Another barrier <laughs> just shattered right there.